1996, the fourth reactor of Chernobyl nuclear power plant had a fault in the emergency shutdown system while the crew was conducting a test. This test was to see if, in case of a power outage, the turbines could produce sufficient energy to the coolant pumps until the diesel generator was able to turn on. This didn't turn out as they hoped it would. There was a power surge, and the emergency shutdown failed to work. This caused a huge nuclear explosion. This explosion was a massive 2,000 degrees Celsius, that's 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit, explosion. That is a high enough temperature to melt platinum. The explosion gave off 200 times more than the radiation released at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. To put that into perspective, these were pla the places where the two atomic bombs were released by the US and UK to end World War II. The first bomb dropped in Hiroshima had a 16 kiloton field, and the bomb dropped on Nagasaki had a 21 kiloton field. Yet again, a kiloton is a measurement. In short, one kiloton is equal to 2 million pounds of TNT being set off. That is equal to 74 million pounds of TNT being set off in these two places. The radioactive explosion of Chernobyl was 200 times the radiation of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So doing simple math, that is equal to 14 billion 800 million pounds of TNT being set off. Over 45 million over 45,000 people had to re be relocated, told that they would be coming back in a time of three days, and still have not returned to this day. The level of radiation was so high that the dead had to be buried in lead coffins so that no radiation leaked from the ground and contaminated anything else. The fire was not the big problem in Chernobyl. The big problem was the deadly radioactive dust cloud that formed over the plant and then traveled north. Belarus was the hardest hit with 70% of the radioactive dust settling in the soil and water. The Chernobyl nuclear explosion is still one of the worst to date in the whole entire world. The total exclusion zone of Chernobyl was 1,000 miles squared. This is a terrible disaster and the zone is not expected to be radiation free for hundreds of thousands of years. Thank you.